Real life such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. Yeah. All right, Chicago, I heard you guys make some really good mild sauce for your fried chicken. Let me show you how easy it is. Make the best mild sauce from Chicago. My twist, my take on it, ever. Don't blink. All right, right into it, guys. So I got three pounds of wings here, nice and clean. One tablespoon of salt here, one cup of Louisiana hot sauce. It's my twist, my take on it, guys. All right, we're just gonna let this marinate. Once you got your cup in, you got a half tablespoon of black pepper and two tablespoons of hot chili powder. All right, nothing to this. We're gonna take a beautiful clean glove, nice and sanitized. I'm gonna whisk this in, not whisk this in. Mush this in, or marinate this in, actually. You guys, I don't even know what to say today. <laughs> Make sure you guys you get into every single crack, and all we're gonna do, guys, is let this marinate for three hours minimum, all right? Here we go, don't sleep on this batter, okay? It took me a year to master, I'm sharing with you. So first coating, one cup of flour. Next coating will be our wet batter, so one can of club soda here. Next, three cracked eggs. No shells. Beauty. Half tablespoon of seasoning salt and one cup of flour. Mix that in very well. Next coating, seasoning flour. To this, three cups of flour going in. We got a half tablespoon of salt. Oh, that's half right there. I'm gonna go half tablespoon of celery salt. Let's try something different in our seasoning today. I'm gonna go half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, teaspoon of ground thyme, teaspoon of ground ginger, half a tablespoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of white pepper, tablespoon of paprika, but I'm gonna add more because I like paprika, all right guys? And a teaspoon of garlic salt. Do it now. Whisk that all in. Whisk that all in very well. All right, next. All right, before we start frying, got some fries here, which I'm just gonna throw in the counter or throw on this tray here. Why am I saying counter? No, I'm throwing the whole bag. What am I doing? Okay, into the oven at 450 until crispy. Mild sauce. So, what I heard about mild sauce, guys, is Three components, barbecue sauce, one cup of this going in, ketchup, half a cup, and hot sauce. Do the third cup of hot sauce. No, let's go three tablespoons of hot sauce. And that's the base, okay? Once the base is dropped, I'm gonna add my own little twist and take on it. So, tablespoon of apple cider. Tablespoon of paprika, gotta get the paprika in. I'm gonna add a little more because I like paprika. Next, teaspoon of ginger powder. Teaspoon of white pepper. I'm gonna do one cup of water here. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of brown sugar. That's it, this is my twist, my take on the mild sauce. Whisk this in and it becomes nice and combined. Here we go, perfect oil for frying chicken. So I got canola oil here, heating on a medium low heat or two or three for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna take one of these, wooden spoon or a chopstick, stick it in. Once you see big bubbles like that, oil's ready. It goes something like this. So, marinated chicken into our plain white flour. Let's just do half of this batch right now. You don't wanna overdo it, okay? Coat this in plain white flour. Shake off any excess, very crucial part guys. Very, very crucial part. Once you shake off any excess, dunk them into this pool here. I don't care if they can swim. Oy! Splattering everywhere. <whistles> Drop them gently, okay? <laughs> He's gotta get it. All right, everybody into this pool here. I'm gonna soak them in here. Right, this is the tricky part. Shake off any excess. Seasoning flour's right there. Let's push it over. Boom, bam. Into seasoning flour. Once you put it into seasoning flour, squeeze it. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. Shake off any excess. Throw it to the side. Boom. Squeeze off any excess. Throw it to the side. 
So excess, shake it off. Seasoning flour, squeeze it in. Shake off any excess, throw it to the side. Very simple, guys. Very crucial step to shake off any excess, all right? If you want a thick crust, don't shake off any excess, all right? But don't come complaining to me like you had a thick crust and you didn't shake off any excess, all right? <laughs> okay? All right, once you got them nice and coated, everybody into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. They just gotta get it. Cooking time for this, six to seven minutes. Make sure you don't overcrowd your pool. Everybody's not gonna get along, man. Right? Eight to ten minutes up. Pull out your work of art. When I say work of art, just look at it. That's a work of art. <laughs> Look how beautiful they are. Like I said before guys, for all my haters out there, you can hate me, complain, kick, scream, whine, cry, all you want. But when it comes down to my fried chicken game guys, you better respect my fried chicken game. You just gotta. It's beautiful. Let this cool down. Close up on the sound here. You guys hear that? Sizzling goodness. All right. Oh my. Here to set you guys up. So who wants a basket? You guys want one? All right, I got you guys. So, we'll start off with the side of fries. All right, we can only make one basket. <laughs> Who wants it? I thought I had more fries in this. Maybe somebody ate it, I don't know. Okay, how many pieces of chicken you guys want? 10? All right, I got you. You know what? I'm feeling a little nice today, so I'm gonna hook you guys up. There's 12. 14, 14 pieces. Look at this. Who wouldn't be happy for this, huh? Last but not least, the sauce. The mild sauce. My twist, my take on it. Guys, when are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. All right, Chicago, rate my chicken and mild sauce. Not too shabby, right? So, here's the thing I heard about mild sauce. Mild sauce was originally created, then mumbo sauce came, or it was the same creator, but, guys, don't quote me on that, but, quick, quick time, think about this, quick time. You guys got it, nice. Super pumped for this. Mm hmm Here it is, guys. Once I travel back from Vietnam, I'm gonna try, or I'm gonna travel to the States and hit every state and try you guys' traditional food. Guys, I'll buy this. Quick time! He's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Here, come close to this. This chicken, guys, is extra, extra, extra crispy. So I gotta be I careful just because I the roof of my mouth with the straw yesterday, so it's kind of hurting, guys. He's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. So, nice and slow. Mm-hmm. That's heavenly. Mm hmm. Mm. My fried chicken game, guys, is deadly. <laughs> mm. Perfectly seasoned. Perfect amount of sauce on this. The thing is, right? 
when it comes down to mild sauce or mild sauce, ah, I've been making it already, guys. <laughs> Remember the time I always do ribs? I always take that one dollar barbecue sauce. And throw my twist, my take on it, which starts with that dollar store barbecue sauce, ketchup, hot sauce, then whatever goes, goes, right? It's delicious. Only thing bad about these, I can't really enjoy them. The top of my roof or my mouth. Ow! It's great. And this crust on this chicken here. Unbelievably crunchy. That's delicious. All right, this is what I want to do, guys. Look at the time, 2.41. I want to show you how crusty and crispy my crust stays within the time, all right? So I'm going to wait maybe 20 minutes before checking up on them again. All right, somewhat 10 minutes in, or 20 minutes in, actually. Let's check in on the chicken. So, chicken, crust, fork. Look how crispy it still is. Isn't it beautiful? This is your scrape your gums crust. <laughs> Flavorful scrape your gum chicken crust. You break into it. Meat's nice and juicy. Isn't that beautiful? Best fried chicken ever. Best fried chicken ever. <laughs> Just the worst. <laughs> Roof of my mouth is all cut up. This crust is extra crispy. This sauce is extra tangy. So when the skin hits my skin, or when this skin hits my skin, it scrapes it. This tang gets right into it and it stings. Mm, 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 mm. But it's magical. Taste on this. I'm gonna give it a mm, focus. This camera stop getting my face. Come on. You know what, never mind. This time I want to play games. <laughs> I think this camera is not liking the... The abuse I put this through. Mm. Cooking guys. There's a lot behind the scene of abusing this camera. As in falling, as in saucing it up, as in touching my dirty hands on it, as in dropping a lot. And I just want to expose myself before a channel exposed me for it. <laughs> you heard it here first. My cameras go through a lot guys, I swear. If you ever do a cooking channel, you'll know. Unless you get a camera guy. When you get a camera guy, it's all good. 
Did you guys hear that crust though? It is scraping the top of my roof, guys. And it's hurting. <laughs> it really hurts. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your palm shirts, food life's beautiful thing shirt. Like this. Share this. Who's been hiding? <clears throat> guys, I've been telling Kitty all your guys' comment and she doesn't like it. Right, Kitty? Everybody's calling you fat and stuff, but they don't know, Kitty. They don't know. It's just fur, right, Kitty? Right? I tell you all the comments, right, Kitty? <laughs> Peace out! <laughs> Got it.